Hi everybody, my name is Jennifer Squires and I'm back with another bookbinding project. This bookbinding project is in collaboration with David Thorinson. And David found one of my little business cards at the local art store where I sell a few of my handbound books. And he emailed me asking what I was, um, what I did. And I said, I just email, yeah. I just hand bind a few sketchbooks and things. And he was interested in doing some sort of collaboration. So after a series of emails, we've settled upon making surprise books for each other. So I will make something and send it to David. And he's going to make something and send it to me. And we um, let each other know a few of our likes and dislikes and things like that. So I said, I do, I like watercolor paper and Dungeons and Dragons. And that's all the information about myself I gave him. And he gave me that he likes, also likes watercolor paper and um, Japanese patterns, plants and fun embroidery. So I've got some watercolor paper, which I have trimmed down to size of 25 to 21 centimeters. This is 120 GSM paper. I also have this Japanese cotton, which I'm going to embroider a little plant on the front and use this to cover the, um, the book board. And I'm because he mentioned Japanese patterns and this is Japanese cotton. I'm going to bind it the way most Japanese books are bound, which is they open, instead of opening um, from the left side and reading it left to right, I'm going to do it from right to left. So that is a plan. So I'm going to round the corners of all of my paper with my corner rounder and then I am going to start creasing and folding them and then I'll come back. Okay so I have folded everything. So this is the size of the book and these will be my signatures that I'll stitch together and I'm going to stitch it together with this blue cotton silk thread blend because it's going to match the fabric so I'm gonna pop on a time lapse and get stitching
Okay, I have got my text block all stitched together. I'm going to put this in the press and put some muslin along the spine and maybe a nice ribbon as a page mark and then let that sit overnight. Okay, so I have my fabric in the embroidery hoop and I have drawn my little flower motif on the front. It's kind of hard to pick up at the moment because of the pattern, but this is a particular flower design that I saw popping up quite a lot when I looked into Japanese embroidery. So I'm just going to stick with something simple and I'm going to embroider it with this kind of blue. So it kind of sticks within the colour palette, but then also stands out as its own piece at the same time. So I'm going to get to doing that. Here is my embroidered flower, all complete. I have done my best. It's a little bit understated and kind of going for something slightly more classic and sophisticated, but I'm guessing David would know a bit more about embroidery than I do. So I've done my best, but it's not my strong suit. And the back. Well, we're lucky that's going to be hidden. 
I'm hoping that he likes this.
and this is how I made this little watercolor book for David so I'm going to send this off to him and this video is not done yet because coming up will be the part where we see what David has made okay it has been a couple of days since I have sent my parcel off and I have just received my parcel from David I've covered both of our addresses for privacy so I'm going to bring you in closer and we're going to have a look at what he sent us I'm so excited Knotted braided keyring that's gorgeous. Got a little note. Try not to rip the sticker. Hi Jennifer, I hope you like the book I made you. I was going for a magic tome-ish type look, which could be related to DD. I added a little keyring I made and a couple of stickers from my little collection. This was fun from David. Okay. Oh, cool. Bunch of like, potion bottles and. Oh, I love mushroom stickers. This is so cool, David. Thank you so much. It's the entire world inside a bottle. This is so cool. <laughs> That. That's so cool. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Thank you so much, David. All right. I know that David tried a few new techniques to him when he was working on this <gasps> wow oh my goodness wow look at this this is so cool look it's got exposed binding this is amazing Look at the, oh, you have far undersold your skills, David. This is beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, I am so impressed. Look at this. Look, he's even, look at this, this decoration on the back. This is, This is so beautiful. I am going to treasure this forever and ever. This is amazing. Look at this. The corner pieces, everything just fits so perfectly. This is so beautiful. This is amazing. Thank you so much. You are an incredibly talented individual. This is gorgeous. Thank you. If you want to check out David's Instagram, I'll link it below. Go ahead and give him a, a follow and like his, his work. He's posted, got pictures that'll be ready to post after um, after I've opened this so it'll be available to go and have a look now this is amazing David and this key ring is gorgeous I'm gonna put this right on my D&D backpack right now 
I think this is wonderful. You are an incredibly talented person. I think this is amazing. You have far undersold your skills. This is so beautiful. This is so gorgeous. Well done. If you like this video, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with a friend, thumbs up, thumbs down. We want to hear that too. And I'll see you in another video. Thank you, David.